Ukraine's crisis is back in the West's headlines with the sensational claim that Russia has accidentally revealed it suffered military casualties there. Well, this supposed leak was published in Ukraine as well, but it spread rapidly after being picked up by the American business magazine Forbes. As its source, Forbes refers to the Russian publication Business Life before adding that the material was later censored and taken down from the site. Artis Ali Petrenko has been looking into it and told Andrew Farmer how Forbes has come up short on its fact-checking. We know the Russian government has long denied its involvement in East Ukraine. Can any of these claims be verified or corroborated in any way? Not at all. And uh, again, the problem here is that the original article by Business Life doesn't give any sources. And this raises a lot of questions. For example, why the Forbes author never questioned the credibility of the original article. After all, he could have contacted the editors of Business Life, which apparently he didn't do. spent the whole day doing research on this news organization. So here's the website of the Business Life magazine or newspaper. And if we go to contacts, the only thing that we can see here is a feedback form. And there's no address, no telephone here. So our hopes rested with Google, which did give out a few phone numbers and one Moscow address. Good thing that we are in Moscow and we're physically able to go to that address that Google gave us. But uh, what happened uh, when we tried to check if that news organization was actually there, it really baffled us. Это институт какой-то? Да, Московский Российский государственный университет. А вы не знаете ничего про издание «Деловая жизнь»? Нет. «Деловая жизнь». Здесь есть что-то такое, нет? Нет. Нет, ребят, нет, на самом деле. Слышали что-нибудь про издание «Деловая жизнь»? Нет. Не, нет, 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 нет. не слышали? Спросить хотел про издание «Деловая жизнь». Ничего не слышали про него? Нет. Мы ищем издание «Деловая жизнь». Вы что-то слышали про него? Нет. Нет? And RT did get in touch with Business Life. Here's the reply from someone claiming to represent the outlet. Originally, there was no section entitled Compensation for Military Personnel Participating in Military Action in Ukraine in 2014 to 2015. The article was published in February, and no one edited it until the 23rd of August. On that day, we started to receive messages with requests to explain the information in this article. And we then realized that the website had been hacked. The editor deleted the newly added text. Preliminary inquiries suggest that the hackers used an IP address in Kiev. Well, the author of the Forbes article is a contributor whose work is almost entirely anti-Russian or aimed personally at Vladimir Putin. The author of the Forbes article is a contributor whose work is almost entirely anti-Russian or aimed personally at Vladimir Putin.
Moscow correspondent of the AP news agency is appalled by the use of unverified sources and lashed out at Forbes and those spreading the story. Two days of Western officials retweeting a Forbes report, quoting a non-existent Russian news website. The ease of spreading rumors in the digital world is astonishing. from the nation's top scientists on the zombie virus that appeared two weeks ago. They released information saying that the symptoms to watch for are aggression, foaming from the mouth, deterioration of motor skills, and an unbelievable hunger. Be advised that if an infected becomes hostile, the only way to harm them is to shoot them in the head. This is in very bad taste.